In this video we're going to look at uh, printing and exporting the S-curves. So I'll look at uh, exporting first of all. So the first thing I want to show you is just copying the S-curve so we can put it in another report, maybe a word-based progress report. So I can click on copy, go to Word and paste it and it appears in Word for me. That would be the same for Excel or PowerPoint for example. So if I wanted to combine it with another progress report. Uh, alternatively, I could export the data to Excel. So here we have the uh, data in Excel, which we could obviously graph inside of here if we wanted to uh, include that information. Obviously, if these curves were being displayed in Project Tracker, I would get data for those items as well. So that's the uh, exporting items. With regard to printing, it's uh, nice and straightforward. So we go to print settings first of all. We can set things like the issue date, the revision date, who's uh, authored it. Uh, that will become a little legend at the bottom of the, the program. Portrait or landscape. And we can set a left hand logo potentially. Um, so if we can put it here. And say how many pages we wanted to go over. So. Uh, if it was a, a long report we want to expand it we could put it over several pages we can also optionally uh, print the entire curve or a defined time slice so when we go to preview this you can see we have the uh, two logos that we brought in maybe our logo and a client's logo and the curve exactly as we saw it before and in a previous video, we've looked at uh, batch printing views, so that would create, that would just print all our views out into, uh, through the printer or into one PDF file if required. So printing's quite flexible uh, and exporting is very straightforward out of Project Tracker.